Hi all. Here I am going to discuss the past strategy for the subject database management system for the BPU syllabus. So this is prepared by analyzing the previous year question papers of the subject of the BPU syllabus. So we can see the module wise past strategy. So first module is an introduction to databases. And you can see the past strategy for this module. Mainly there are three questions. So the first one is three schema architecture. This is a frequently asked question. So you had to draw the diagram and explain the conceptual internal and external levels. The second question from this module is a data independence. That is understand the difference between logical and physical data independence. Then DBMS approach. Be ready to list and explain the advantages of using a DBMS over the traditional file systems. So these three questions are very important. Then now we can come to the module 2 and the important questions from the module 2. That is the first one is the ER diagrams. So you have to practice drawing ER diagrams for different scenarios. Pay close attention to entities, attributes, and multi-value attributes and relationships. It's a very common question. ER diagram is a very common question. Then coming to the next question is relational model constraints. Mainly you should be able to explain the entity integrity and preferential integrity constraints. Then the third question is the relational or from the relational algebra. This is another high yield topic. Practice writing queries using relational algebra operators like select, project, join and union. So now we can come to the third module. The third module mainly it is SQL queries and the normalization part. So here you can see the strategy. You will be you have to write SQL queries. It is express x. You have to expect questions that require you to write SQL queries for a given database schema. Practice various types of queries, including which involves joins, aggregate functions, and subqueries. Then after that. The next question is a normalization, 1NF, 2NF, and 3NF, and be able to normalize a given relation. You have to understand the definition, and also you should be able to normalize a given relation. Then next is the functional dependencies. This is a core concept in normalization. Make sure you can find the minimal cover for a set of functional dependencies. You will be given a set of functional dependencies, and you want to write which is a minimal cover. So that is about the third module. Now we can come to the fourth module. It's about advanced SQL and transaction processing. The important questions from this is the triggers and assertions. You have to understand the purpose of triggers and assertions and be able to write simple examples. Then the next question is the acid properties. This is a very common theory question. Be prepared to explain what each of this acid, atomicity, consistency, isolation, durability properties means. Then what is system log? Understand how the system log is used in database transactions. So these three questions from the fourth module. Now coming to the fifth module, which is concurrency control and no SQL databases. From this, you have to learn concurrency control, expect questions on two-phase locking protocol and timestamp-based ordering. Understand why concurrency control is needed and be able to explain it with an example. Then the next question is a no SQL. This is a modern and important topic. Be familiar with the CAP theorem and the basic concepts of document-based NoSQL systems like MongoDB. So the, now we have discussed the important questions from each of the five modules. Now general tips for success, that is previous year question papers are the key. So you have to practice more and more questions from previous year question papers. Thank you.